Mazda 3 vehicles from 2013 onwards have a fuel filter integrated into the pump assembly. In this Ryko technical video, we'll show you how to service the fuel filter using the Ryko Z987 in-tank fuel filter kit. The first step is to access the fuel pump assembly, which is under the back seat. Once the rear seat is removed, you'll see the access panel to the fuel tank. Remove the screws and panel. You'll now have access to the fuel pump sender. Disconnect the pump wiring and the high pressure fuel line. You will now need to remove the lock ring holding the sender assembly. Give the area a quick clean to ensure no debris falls into the tank once the pump is removed. Use the Ryko RST100 fuel locking ring tool and remove the ring counterclockwise. Carefully remove the pump and place it into a drain pan. Cover the fuel tank location with a clean rag. We can now disassemble the pump and change the filter. First, undo the electrical connectors from the sender unit and remove the fuel gauge float from the swell pot. Next, remove the fuel line from the swell pot and unclip the three clips holding the fuel filter pump bracket to the swell pot. Now, remove the retaining clip from the sender unit connecting rod and remove the sender unit from the swell pot. Discard the old spring and clip. Now that the part is separated, clean the bowl of the swell pot and put to one side as it will be reused. Now it's time to remove the pump from the fuel filter housing. There are five clips holding the pump into the assembly at the bottom. Unclip and keep the filter bracket and sock as we'll reuse it later. You can now slide the fuel pump out of the fuel filter housing. We need to change some parts on the fuel pump at this point. Replace the plastic collar and the O-ring. Use lubricant on the O-ring when fitting it onto the pump outlet as well as the new wire connector supplied with the Ryko kit. Next, we will need to remove the fuel pressure regulator from the filter housing using a flat blade screwdriver. Pop out the regulator like so. The old fuel filter housing and sender unit can be discarded. We can now service the fuel pressure regulator. Replace the plastic collar and two O-rings which are supplied in the Ryko kit. Ensure to use lubricant on the O-rings. We now move on to reassembly. Take the new Ryko fuel filter housing and fit the fuel pressure regulator like so. Next, feed the fuel pump wiring harness up through the filter housing and locate the fuel pump into position. Take the fuel sock bracket and re-clip it to the bottom of the new Ryko filter housing. Fit the new mounting bracket to the filter housing and place back into the swell pot, making sure you hear the clips click into place. Next, we can refit the sender unit to the swell pot. Place the spring over the longer of the two metal shafts and push down over the swell pot until you can fit the new locating clip to the shaft. It's time for the fuel pump wiring to be reconnected to the sender. Be sure to locate the wires in the holding clips. Next, fit the fuel level float to the swell pot and feed the wiring to the sender and plug-in connector. Connect the fuel line to the swell pot and check all clips are full engaged, electrical connectors are clipped in and we're ready to refit the assembly to the fuel tank. Now, carefully fit the fuel assembly back into the tank like so, making sure to orientate the sender to the high pressure fuel line. Refit the locking ring with the Ryko RST100 tool and connect the fuel line and wiring connector. It's now time to test. Prime the fuel system by going to accessories on the key and start the Mazda 3. Check that the fuel gauge is at the same level as when you started the repair. Lastly, check for fuel leaks and once confirmation is complete the system is working, refit the fuel sender cover using the screws and then refit the rear seat and test drive the vehicle. For more information on Ryko products, visit rykofilters.com.au.